Thank you, Lucy. That was wonderful. Okay. Okay. So everyone, for those of you, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Martha Doss, and I am a grateful, naturalized U.S. citizen. And Donald J. Trump is my president. Yeah. I want to thank every one of you for being here today as we gather here to unite and to show support to our great president. We will not sit back and allow the radical Democrats to try and impeach our president. We are sick of the constant attacks from the mainstream media. And we are here to say to MSNBC, to ABC, to CBS, to NBC, CNN, and even Fox News, that we have had enough of you. We have had enough of the lies that we are not listening to you any longer. We are here to say we will no longer be silent. We are sick and tired of being called a fascist and a racist when it has been proven over and over how the Democrats are the true fascists and racists that wants to continue and silence our freedom of speech. The Democrats have aligned with George Soros who has funded Antifa, the organization that has caused much violence to many conservatives. Democrats are trying to erase history. And history, ladies and gentlemen, will show us that it was the Republicans that freed the slaves. And the Democrats yes. didn't want to yes. abolish yes. slavery, just like they don't want to abolish abortion. It was the Republicans that held both women and black Americans have their voting rights. And no, don't believe the made up lies from the left. There was never a switch between the parties. The Democrats are still the same races as they were back then. They just have come up with new tricks. And now they want to brainwash our communities and our kids into thinking that every person that is black or Hispanic are oppressed and cannot succeed in this country. Well, I'm here to say I am not a victim and we are not destined to be that way. I am 37 years old. My mother brought us here from Mexico. I became pregnant at the age of 17 and I was never oppressed. I'd like to respond to recent comments by the city councilwoman Hoka in her latest tweet. She calls all Latinos Trump supporters ignorant and that we have internalized whiteness from a system that was meant to oppress us. Councilwoman, you are mistaken. The only ignorant one is you by your sick racist comments towards fellow Americans. Shame on you for trying to brainwash our kids, our children, the Hispanic communities that they are to remain victims, okay? Shame on you for screwing your hate towards white Americans and further wanting to divide us. We are tired of being told how to vote based on the color of our skin. And I'm here to be a voice for every conservative Hispanic kid and women that feel that they don't have a voice. We are sick and tired of Democrats trying to divide us by the color of our skin. We are not white, Asian, black, Mexican, and Hispanic. We are Americans first. And united, we will stand. It is okay to be pro-God, pro-life, and pro-Second Amendment. And we do not have to apologize for it either. We are sick and tired of the far-left liberals sexualizing our children in our schools. Yes, four more years. It's okay. That's all they have, right? When we give them facts, that's all they have, right? Okay? They just want to throw temper to Exactly. Exactly. And the last time I checked, y'all, is we do not want our taxes increased for a total socialism takeover programs in this country. Socialism has not worked in Venezuela and Cuba, and we will not allow it to be forced upon the American people in the United States of America. Amen. Scripture tells us in 2 Chronicles 7 14, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear them from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. And I believe that that's what the Lord was wanting to do, is heal our land. And united we will stand together. Our rights, ladies and gentlemen, do not come from government. Our rights come from God Almighty. We put God first. And in God, we will always trust. I want to encourage 
every one of you to be brave, to be bold, to be courageous, and never stop fighting. Because when we stop fighting, guys, that is when we will surrender our freedoms. And America will never give up our freedoms. And America will never, never be a socialist country as long as we continue to keep fighting. Now, we have some very strong Christian conservative candidates that need your help. I encourage you to get involved and help them with their campaign. Get behind them. They will need your help. Let's win big in 2020. Let's make history together. And with that being said, I would like to bring my friend, our next state representative, Kerry Isaac for House District 45.